Today is day 16, folks, and honestly, studying alone can really suck, right? You lose motivation, you're distracted. I, I've been there. You need to have somebody to talk about this stuff with. So what if you had a friend who was always down to study? It's DTS. Never distracted. Always knew how to help you learn. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to build that perfect textbook and chill study buddy using AI. I'm Camo. Let's get you future proof. Quick reminder, if you have not watched the series intro video, go watch that right now. Links are down below. But let's talk a bit for a quick second about this concept. Having a study buddy, having somebody that you can go to and be accountable with is always really beneficial. And generally, you'll have this as a normal person in your life or a friend or a colleague or someone else who's studying this hobby or learning this thing with you. Um, and that's all great, but that comes with a little tiny bit of human baggage. And we're not gonna talk too much today about how that human baggage is really important and we need that in our lives. I'm just here to say, maybe you're learning the guitar and you have nobody around you that plays the guitar, so you need someone to talk to and you don't wanna spend you know, hundreds of dollars a month for lessons. This is an economical solution for you. So let's jump into the first things that we always ask ourselves, what would a human need in order to do this? What would a human need to be your accountability buddy or your study buddy? Well, first, they need to know your goals and what you're trying to do. Good news, we did that yesterday. That's your day 15 output. They need to know like emotional and motivational and mental support for you. What is the thing that you need? There are some templates in the prompts, especially in the prompt document. Remember, you have access to the prompts for free right now. They're down below, click the link. Inside of there, there's a customization section that I want you to think about for you, okay? I'm gonna set this up to be very like positive and challenging and also very casual, but maybe that's not what works for you. Be very self-aware about this. And if you don't know, hey, guess what? You can ask AI to assess you for that. Then you need someone who will help you adjust when the plan changes because life is going to happen with any topic. Maybe you make a ton of progress. Maybe you like, you know, had an emergency and couldn't do anything for a week. That's cool. And so that means that you also need a way to track progress. So I'm going to jump back for a quick second and talk to you full screen because this is vitally important. We are going to stay in the same context window for this type of thing. If you start over and start over and start over, you're gonna keep having to prime it with what's happened. But if you have one context window, and let's be very clear what I mean by that, when we jump over to ChatGPT, this is a context window. It, just keep this. In the URL bar at the top there, you're gonna have a really long URL. It's gonna say, you know, like chat.openai.com slash chat or whatever, and then it's gonna have just like ABC123 and a whole long string, just bookmark that. Come back to that. When you open up your sidebar over here and you grab all the prompts that you've been using, just stay in the same one, okay? That's what I want you to think about today. That's what it means to keep our progress tracked, just stay in the same context window. All right, so now that we have what a human would need, let's jump forward and look at what we're gonna plan to. We have a very comprehensive prompt today and all you're gonna do is augment it with your day 15 learning plan and then you're just gonna keep in that same context window and providing your updates over time. So there's gonna be a one hit in kind of prompt with all the details. And then you're just gonna stay in this window and provide your updates either via text or via voice. I love voice, that's what I'm gonna show you here in a second. And here's RG Koa. Let's talk about our prompting framework today. Your role, AI learning coach and companion. That's what we're going for. Goal, provide accountability, tracking and plan optimization. Help me adapt. Uh, context is your entire day 15 plan. You can also add in your assessment if you want is the starting point. I think that's useful. We're not gonna do that today, but it can help. Uh, and then detailed coaching check-ins and logs is your output, like give me the feedback. So what we're specifically gonna ask it for in this output is to say, you know, ask me how I'm doing. I'm gonna tell you how I'm doing. And then you're gonna give me the feedback. Like you're gonna give me the positive reinforcement if that's what I need. But then you're also gonna be like, here's the modifications to the plan that are necessary or continue a pace just as your plan states. And as always, ask me anything that will help. Never forget to put this into your prompts. So let's demo this and let's head back over to ChatGPT. So let's take a quick look at the prompt today. Again, very detailed. Be my learning companion with expertise in adult education, accountability, and progress coaching. Provide ongoing accountability, progress tracking, and plan optimization. Context, I'm going to upload my learning plan for you to read and reference. Now, again, in the prompt templates that you have access to, there's a bunch of examples in here. I've just picked a few that apply to me for this test, okay? So uh, I want a balanced approach between direct and encouraging for my accountability style. My motivational triggers are progress visualization. I want an RPG level up. That's how I want to know I'm getting better. Uh, response to setbacks. I want problem solving. Communication style preference. I want super cash and friendly. Check-in, a weekly check-in. I don't care when it happens and I'm going to do it in five minutes or less with you. And then the learning plan, see the uploaded document. And then the uh, activities that I completed this week, this is critical because I'm going to show you voice mode today. I'm just going to say, I will provide these to you in a second. All right. 
But again, we're gonna grab this whole prompt and if you're doing text mode, don't include this. If you're doing voice mode, this is the primer, okay? So before you begin, confirm that you understand all the documents and instructions. I'll tell you to begin once you confirm with me and I acknowledge you. So I'm gonna grab that because I plan on switching over to voice mode and demoing this for you. Voice mode is notoriously uh, unpredictable, so we'll see how this demo goes. I'm really excited for it. So we've got that. We're coming over to ChatGPT. Uh, I am not gonna go into temporary because in order to switch to voice, you have to be able to be in a, a one that's logged. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in, but I'm also gonna include the learning plan from yesterday, okay? So this tells me where we're gonna start. And I'm gonna say, okay, are we good to go? So that's gonna read, it's gonna confirm that everything's good. I'm firing up my phone right now. All right, so here we go, this is it. It's ready to begin as soon as I am with the week one check-in. So opening up the phone to chat GPT, going into the little history log, and I'm gonna go to the guitar accountability check yesterday. So now I'm in that same exact chat window. This is meta, but like, it's the same. And then I'm gonna hit that voice button and let's see how this goes. Hi there, I'm ready to go ahead and begin and give you my week one update. Are you ready to start? Absolutely, I'm ready. Let's dive into your week one update. Tell oh. me how it went. Okay, so the weekly learning plan for this week was I was supposed to learn the song Dead Leaves in the Dirty Ground from the White Stripes and then work on the E minor pentatonic scale. I did both of those things. I managed to rip through Dead Leaves in the Dirty Ground. I learned the riffs. I spent a little bit more time each day practicing on that song, but I feel really comfortable with it. I'm ready to move forward and I can play that scale now at about 100 beats a minute without missing a note. Uh, and I'm feeling really good about this. So how am I doing and what should we change for next week? Help some time to hit the mute button because then that shows that no audio is coming through and we're progressing. But again, whenever you do voice mode with RAG, it's gonna take a little bit longer because it's gotta reference the document and come back and forth. So I'm filling the time here by just explaining what's happening and I'm hopeful that this is gonna come back in just a second. That's fantastic progress. You've nailed your week one goals and even pushed yourself a bit further. Here's a quick rundown. Progress acknowledgement. Awesome job mastering the dead leaves and the dirty ground riff and hitting 100 BPM on the E minor pentatonic scale. Your extra practice time is clearly paying off. Learning log yeah. update. So, as you can see, right, that comes through and it starts to walk through the output that we asked it for in the prompt. If that starts to get too verbose for you, just go ahead and trim that down for the kind of uh, feedback that you're getting. If I let that keep going, it's gonna continue to tell me stuff like, okay, we're gonna modify the plan for next week if possible, although I said I was doing good, so it's probably just gonna say keep going. Um, and you can see the learning style coming in there. It was like positive reinforcement was jumping in. Like, this is pretty cool stuff that we've got going on. Now, I'm gonna zip back into full screen here. I probably should have been doing that the whole time for you, sorry. Uh, this in voice mode works exceptionally well. I prefer to talk to somebody about this sort of stuff. And again, you can just interrupt if it's going on too long and be like, hey, that's great. Like, talk to me about what I need. Or, hey, I was having a really big challenge on this one. Can you give me some steps that I might be able to do to overcome it? Or, hey, can we lower the difficulty level going forward? It will listen to you and it will take all that into account. Zero judgment. Zero, you know, like thinking bad about anything. No feelings need to get hurt in this. It's awesome for this kind of stuff when you don't have anybody to talk to or you can't, you know, you, you don't want to go through the hassle like finding an actual coach or, or teacher for this kind of stuff. This is why AI, where AI excels. This is awesome. And look, I've been using this as my guitar coach for a couple months now because I've, that, that this is exactly what I'm trying to learn myself. And it's been awesome. Like I've made more progress in the last couple months playing guitar than I have in a really long time. And I absolutely accredit it to the use of these tools, everybody. Like it's pretty dope. So uh, now that we have that, how do we level this up? So let's switch over to here. So take that learning plan that we did in day 15 and just iterate on it, right? If you notice that things aren't going super well, go ahead and do that. Again, stay in the same context window. Um, you can set up regular voice check-ins like what I just showed you to do. That is my level up technique for you. I want you to try that out. Uh, and just because I've been playing with this a lot lately too, I'm gonna recommend this. You could also use Eleven Labs, which is an awesome AI voice cloning tool to clone your own voice and then you could talk to yourself. And so it's literally like your inner monologuing to yourself. Um, that's like a whole other thing here, but you can use that exact same thing. You can prompt it the exact same way as you would chat GPT or Claude or, or Gemini or whatever. And then customize the tone or style to match your coaching needs. Like as you get started with this, you may find that it's it's like telling you too much or maybe it's giving you things you're like, oh yeah, that just feels like you're pandering to me. Cool, go in and customize that, right? And do it in the same context when just say, hey, from now on, start talking to me like this. From now on, you, I'm gonna use this learning style. From now on, I want you to use this coaching technique. 
and just give it to it. It will listen, and it's pretty awesome. All right. If you want to dive a whole lot deeper with all this, check out the Community with Camo. Check out my AI training courses. They're starting really soon. And I will also say, give me some comments down below on what you want to learn. If you want to see any modifications to this, I answer every single one of the questions, and I would love to hear from you. Uh, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's course is going to be really awesome. We're diving into using AI to brainstorm like fresh, exciting ideas effortlessly. And look, AI sucks at creativity, but with the right prompt, you can really use this to get through any writer's block that you have. You will never face writer's block again, I promise. I'll see you tomorrow, day 17.